The Atlanta Braves are going to look a lot different on the field in 2015. John Hart has taken over and really put his stamp on that organization, overturning the roster. Tim McMaster here along with Jim Duquette. Let's take a look at some of the changes that have been made, the key acquisitions during the offseason. Nick Markakis, they signed him away from Baltimore. They get Shelby Miller in the trade. They had Albert Kayaspo, Johnny Gomes, Jason Grilly. I mean, there's a lot of new faces in the mix. There's a lot of new faces. Just from the offensive side of things, they were 29th in runs scored last year in Major League Baseball. They had a lot of strikeouts. They had a lot of power. They changed that out for guys who make a lot of contact. We'll see if they score runs or if that changes over. The likelihood is they will improve in that area. Certainly, you like the Marquecas signing when you look at him at the top of the lineup. Freddie Freeman, every key uh, lineup for them is going to be due teams pitch to him. He doesn't have the same protection as he did last year. So that'll be an important thing. But it's always going to come down to pitching if they're going to improve upon their 79-win season from a year ago. Yeah, you mentioned the 79 wins, and obviously Justin Upton's gone. Evan Gaddis is gone. There's these new faces. So what has to happen starting in spring training for this team to improve on those 79 wins? Yeah, there, there's no question that that offense is going to be different. They also put a premium on their pitching and improving the depth in their minor league system. They feel like they've gotten into the upper third of the minor league systems with all these trades. When you start to look at that pitching, that's going to keep them in a lot of games. Obviously, getting Shelby Miller in a deal, that's a huge uh, pickup for them, a nice trade. Julio Tehran's going to end up anchoring the rotation now a little bit younger uh, from a year ago for when you had Chris Bedlin supposedly going to uh, anchor the rotation. You had Alex Wood, who's got a premium arm, strikes out almost 10 batters per nine. Mike Miner is going to be a guy that's going to get plenty of time. He's going to be healthy this year. So you look at that rotation, and then if the, you finish the games with Craig Kimbrough, who's one of the best. They have a chance to be in a lot of games. A lot of their success is going to be dependent on the offense.